Hi there, Craig here again reporting from uh, DevLearn on day two. Uh, I feel much less jet lagged today, so hopefully I'll be able to string a sentence together without umming and airing and mumbling so much as I did in the day one video. So again, a quick recap of the things and, and, and the immediate takeaways that I've taken away from day two of DevLearn. So the first thing I went to this morning was a session with Neil Lasher um, on compliancy and how can we do it differently. And Neil gave um, a, quite an interesting insight into instead of teaching people how to avoid money laundering or how to avoid this or how to avoid the other when it comes to compliance issues, actually take a different approach to it and consider teaching people how to launder money and actually look at it from the other perspective, how to teach people how to be an arsonist, perhaps an extreme example. And of course, there are all sorts of issues and, 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 and concerns with doing that, but it was a very interesting approach. And instead of looking at trying to teach people how to prevent something, which, let's be honest, is usually quite dry and quite boring, let's look at it from the other perspective and actually teach people how to perhaps um, get on the, the other side of the equation and actually be the, the antagonist, if you like, as opposed to the solution provider. So that was an interesting approach I thought that Neil came up with there. Uh, I then went into a session entitled Supercharging Google Sales Readiness with Gamification and Social Media. Um, by the time they'd said the title, the session was, was almost over. It was that long a title. There were, Google was doing some really good things, as you might imagine. Obviously, they've got some fantastic developers and a lot of money to throw at what it is that they do and a, lo a lot of coding and programming experts. The key takeaway for me from this perspective was I've been toying with the idea of creating some, uh, some experiential and some reflective learning and getting people to blog about it, getting people to write some relatively detailed responses to some quite probing questions around products and how to sell to customers and things like that. And I'd been put off slightly by doing that because I was very conscious that if you then start to go in free text responses and if you start to get people to give free form responses, an LMS isn't going to mark that, um, which is good because I wasn't going to put it in an LMS. It actually involves a human being doing that. However, Google have done it. They only spent about two hours a week marking these free form assessments for a target audience of about 700 people. And they had an amazing success with it. So that really buoyed me into perhaps um, taking the approach that I'd originally considered taking within my organization but have been put off slightly. It was good to hear that somebody, and somebody of Google's stature, had actually tried it, had experimented with it, and it had had a success, and it wasn't too time onerous, to be honest, to actually mark those, those free form responses. I then went into a session just after lunch called Straight Talk on New Tech, and that was an interesting approach I've not seen before. It was a panel type discussion. There were some pre-formatted questions. There was somebody dialing in from Skype and taking, per, uh, taking place synchronously online, and there was also the ability to ask questions via Twitter as well. So when you think about it, quite a logical thing to do, but I'd never really seen it done at a conference uh, that I've been to. And it certainly inspired me to perhaps look at some of the lunch and learn sessions that I facilitate back in my organization, and actually perhaps considering asking some of my network to join in with me using Skype and Twitter and things like that, and actually consolidate um, lots of different types of, of technologies, including good old face-to-face, -face, into a single place. Um, and there were some good discussions taking place around that. And if you perhaps look at the, uh, the DevLearn Twitter feed, then you'll see the sorts of conversations that were taking place there. I then went into a session entitled Developing a Multi-Year Learning and Development Technology Strategy by Intel. Um, there were two things, both a positive and a negative from this session. First of all, I only stayed around 10 minutes or so, 10 or 15 minutes, and that was because around the 10 or 15 minute mark, the suggestion was made that before we do anything, we should consider rolling out a global, um, international global learning style survey amongst all our learners. As soon as I heard that, I shut down, not a big believer in learning styles, and I decided to go to another session at that point there. So, um, it really didn't uh, inspire me that what was going to come next um, was going to be that positive. Up until that point, though, I have to be honest, the strategy that they were suggesting for running out a learning and development strategy, the process that they'd gone through with some, some success, once again, and I'm not blowing my own trumpet here because I've not done this yet, but it very, very closely mirrored the process that both myself and my line manager in my organization are considering doing. Very early stages, consulting with your learners, figuring out what it is that they're doing, what they aren't doing, where their problems are, what devices they're prepared to, to utilize, what platforms they're used to using outside of the organization, and then allowing that, that feedback to filter its way through 
almost everything that we do. So I was really pleased to hear that a big organisation like Intel, huge global organisation, once again, they tried and tested an approach and had success with it for something that was still in its formative stages in my head. So positive from that respect, uh, I wish I could have stayed longer, but I, I kind of lost faith in what was going to come next due to the, 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 uh, the proposition of conducting a global learning style survey amongst um, our learners. Um, and that was it from day two, really. As I said in my previous um, vlogcast that I did yesterday on YouTube, there were lots more things that came out from it. I'm sure that once I've had time to ponder and reflect upon them and look at them in more detail, then I'll be able to, uh, to give a more considered response. But initially, they're my findings from day two of DevLearn. See you on day three.